Welcome back to a, this series of short videos on probability. And uh, in this video, I want to introduce uh, the concept of likelihood. I'm going to do that with a simple example. And it's going to leverage uh, what we just saw in the last video, the fact that we can plug in numbers into R uh, and get probability density values back. Uh, so let's say I've, I've dri drawn two curves, uh, one uh, centered at 0 and uh, with a standard deviation of 0.7, uh, drawing this curve here in black, and the other one centered on 3 with a standard deviation of 1.3, drawing this curve in yellow, and I want to evaluate um, the probability density at this value is uh, 1.5. Uh, and I can plug that 1.5 into each of these, and I can get specific uh, discrete values, uh, specific you know, numerical values, not discrete, they're continuous, but specific numerical values at, at that uh, value of uh, uh, 1.5. Now, this is setting us up for the idea of how we're going to link models and data. So instead of just these just being arbitrary uh, distributions, imagine that instead uh, these two distributions represented two alternative hypotheses. Hypothesis one, that the mean is zero and the standard deviation is 0.7. Hypothesis two, predicted a mean of three and a standard deviation of 1.3. So we have these two different, say there's some underlying model, they make two different predictions, and they observe a data point at uh, 1.5. Now, there's kind of three ways you can interpret this. You could, you know, the, you know, you could, or I guess three possible outcomes. You know, one could be that hypothesis one is more likely, another could be hypothesis two is more likely, and the other could, you could say, well, that, that data point 1.5 is exactly in between zero and three, so they're equally likely. <clears throat> so we're going to use, uh, this idea of the probability density to help us understand which of those is occurring. Um, and hopefully it is intuitive to most of you that uh, it's, these values, even, even though 1.5 is exactly between 0 and 3, that these values are not equally of likely to have produced this observation 1.5. And so because this orange curve is higher at 1.5, then the black curve is at 1.5, and we're going to say that hypothesis two is more likely to have produced this observation zero, uh, uh, at 1.5 than hypothesis one was. Not only can we say that, that this one is more likely than the other, we can actually say how much more likely. So in fact, because this is 0.16 and this is 0.06, the ratio of those is uh, 2.7, so we can actually say it is 2.7 times more likely that this data point came from, is, is, is 2.7 times more likely to be compatible, compatible with hypothesis 2 than hypothesis 1. Now, the reality is that's not actually, you know, huge strong support, you know, by our, you know, kind of traditional statistical threshold of uh, an alpha value of 0.05, you know, that corresponds to one thing being 20 times more likely than the other. So we're still far away from you know, rejecting either of these hypotheses, but it is, we can say that not only is this observation more compatible with the one model than the other, uh, but we can say how much more. And underlying what we've done here intuitively is this statistical principle of the likelihood. And the likelihood says, the, the, uh, the likelihood is the probability of observing a given data point x conditional on some parameter value theta. So in this case, we're looking what, what's the probability of observing uh, the value 1.5 given uh, two alternative parameter choices, mean of 0 and uh, standard deviation of 0 0.7, or a mean of three and a standard deviation of 1.3. So theta, in this case, was a vector of two parameters, and we had two alternative ones. And we could say, you know, for each of those uh, hypotheses, what was the probability of observing that, that data? So in some sense, what was the probability that this particular model, represented by this set of parameters, produced this 
specific set of data. And furthermore, uh, we can use invoke what's called the likelihood principle to say that a parameter value is more likely than another if it is the one for which the data are more probable. And that's actually going to be you know, the basis for how we're going to dive into thinking about uh, data analysis, because we're going to use that principle to say, you know, for example, you know, if, if these were two alternatives, you know, uh, the, the parameter values associated with the first hypo uh, the second hypothesis uh, is more likely because it's the one uh, for which the data were more probable, kind of what we, we saw then. And in reality, very often, we're not just considering, you know, two alternative hypotheses, but we might be considering, you know, a, a, a whole continuum of, of possible hypotheses. So for example, if I want to fit the mean to a data, I could consider, you know, kind of every value along the x-axis, and some of them are going to be more likely, and some of them are going to be less likely. And, you know, this allows us to say how much more or how much less. <clears throat> 